Breaky News. Welcome to today's headline. DSS react to the court of appeal judgment on Kano's release order. DSS react to the court of appeal judgment on Kano's release order. So my dear listener, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The Department of State Services, DSS, has reacted to the release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP group, Mazi Unamdikano. The spokesman of the DSS, Dr. Peter Afonaya, has declined comments on the next step of the agency after the order issued by the Court of Appeal on Thursday. According to the poll, according to the report on point, Dr. Peter Lafonaya referred inquiry on the judgment passed by the Court of Appeal to the Ministry of Justice. According to the report, a lawyer, G.T. Ogunye, disclosed that the DSS was bound to obey the court's order which authorized the release of Mazi Unamdikanu, the IPOB leader. The lawyer noted that the prosecutor did not have a strong case against Kanu. Hence, the decision of the court of appeal to strike out eight of the 15 charges, which were preferred against him. The lawyer said, the lesson here is for the state to learn competency. The prosecution team was standing on a quicksand even before the matter was appealed. Henceforth, the Nigerian state will have to learn competency. According to the report, a senior advocate of Nigeria, Olalekon Ojo San, disclosed that the Court of Appeal has proven that the Court of Law is the last hope of every Nigerian. A statement reads, The judgment of the Court of Appeal seems to be correct until it is set aside by the Supreme Court. However, there is an aspect of it that I read. The Court of Appeal held that the extradition of Gundam Dikanu from Kenya to Nigeria was illegal and that illegality constitute a bar to any further trial. That is the basis of the judgment. All that the Court of Appeal said is that Unam Dekanu ought not to have been put on trial in the first instance. The Court of Appeal has proved that the Court of Law is the last hope of every Nigerian. Meanwhile, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar, was not so pleased in his reaction to the judgment of the appeal court. It may appear that the Supreme Court will have the final order on the matter. The Department of State Services, DSS, has reacted to the release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP group, Mazi Unamdikanu. The spokesman of the DSS, Dr. Peter Lafunayala, has declined comments on the next step of the agency 
after the order issued by the Court of Appeal on Thursday. According to the report on punch, Dr. Peter Afunaya referred inquiries on the judgment passed by the Court of Appeal to the Ministry of Justice. According to the report, a lawyer, G.T. Ogunye, disclosed that the DSS was bound to obey the court order which authorized the release of Mazi, Unam Dekano, the high pub leader. The lawyer noted that the prosecutor did not have a strong case against Kano, hence the decision of the Court of Appeal to strike out eight of the 15 charges which were preferred against him. The lawyer said, the lesson here is for the state to learn competency. The prosecution team was standing on quicksand even before the matter was appealed. Henceforth, the Nigerian state will have to learn competency. According to the report, a senior advocate of Nigeria, Olalekon Ojo San, disclosed that the Court of Appeal has proven that the Court of Law is the last hope of every Nigerian. A statement reads, the judgment of the Court of Appeal seems to be correct until it is set aside by the Supreme Court. However, there is an aspect of it that I read. The Court of Appeal held that the extradition of Unam Dekanu from Kenya to Nigeria was illegal and that illegality constitutes a bar to any further trial that is the basis of the judgment. My dear listener, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by our comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.